Get it, get it, get it. Hold up. family and welcome back to my channel so as you guys can tell by the title this will be a bang video i am in your american deli i have six piece combo all flats honey barbecue and i also got a side of honey mouth sauce y'all please 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 try that combo okay barbecue wings honey barbecue wings with honey mouth sauce five okay five fire however y'all say it is good so I am gonna try not to talk with my mouth full, okay? Hold on, y'all, I gotta get my water. Ooh. But that is a great combo. I started eating this about three weeks, well, about two or three weeks ago. And the best. Okay, I'm telling y'all, five now. I won't steer y'all wrong. But how has everyone been doing? I haven't asked that in quite a while. How has been, things been going if you're a parent with this homeschooling or virtual learning? I don't know that good stuff. If you guys are not a part of the PBL family and you're just tuning in, please hit that subscribe button so that you can be a part of the family. Ooh. You're itching. What that mean? You know everything means something. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, I get a six piece wing because I can never finish a 10 piece with the fries and the wings. I can never finish, but so good, y'all. With this sauce, and yeah, I just had these wings yesterday, <laughs> they just that good. I am that person who can eat the same food like seven days straight. Mm mm. Seven days might be pushing it. I can do about four. But for one, mm mm. I can eat some wings now. Y'all let me know in the comment section out of seven days, how many days can y'all eat wings? I say four. Mm-hmm. Oh, well. <laughs> Here I am, eating fast. I hate when I be doing that. But see, that's a, I can't, I can't eat cute, y'all. Ain't no eat cute. The only thing I remember growing up, <laughs> growing up, y'all, all my fingers used to be nasty. Probably dripping down my arm. Y'all, it took that one time with my daddy seeing me eating like, <laughs> eating like that. Y'all, he got so mad at me. Not so mad at me, but he was like, don't eat like, like don't eat like that. Eat. And he eat like this, him. How you eat wings like this? But he do. But my daddy eat real like, I think I've said this before. He eats so neat. Like, he got his whole plate of food. He gonna scrape a little bit, scrape whatever foods he wanna like mix. He ain't gonna mix the whole thing together. He gonna scrape a little bit, scrape a little bit. He gonna go like this with his fork. Scoop it up under like that. He ain't just gonna go like this. You know, we go like this. Excuse me, he gonna go on the like that, rub it up against one of them other foods and like scoop it up and eat like he eats so neat. And I don't know who I get my eating from, but probably my grandma though, cause Mo used to eat with her fine, she used to eat with her hands. Oh, and then that water just, 
make it do what it do. It just solidify everything. Woo! Woo! So good. Mm. But y'all, and after I thought slip pack my mouth. That's what I gotta start doing. I gotta start packing my mouth. I don't know why I do that either though. I just feel like I just be eating, like <laughs> I just be eating and like I don't really be, I don't know. I just gotta slow down. Y'all know how be when food just be good, like you don't be thinking about nothing. Slip how you eat seafood, you just eat it. You know what I'm saying? I I do everything like that, just eat it. But y'all, I did want to give some encouraging words, y'all, because this, I wouldn't say this situation, but it just has been coming to my attention, which is very common. This is something very common in, in the world, in society, and it's just very common. Um, you know how you feel like you're stuck? Excuse me. You may feel like you're stuck or you may feel like, you know, you know you're blessed, but things are just not working out in your favor. So you may tend to focus more on the downfalls or you may focus more on the things that are not going your way or things that's just overwhelmingly taking over. So it makes you forget about the things that you should be appreciative of. And all while you are dealing with that and going through that, people around you who may not even really be around you physically, like friends or family, it could be, you know, people on social media, maybe people that you know on social media and they're just prospering in different ways or you know, getting promotions or starting businesses or, you know, these different things. And it may get discouraging to you for your own path simply because all of these other things that, that you're dealing with or having to go through and you feel as if you just can't take a break or you can't get a break. And I'm telling you, we need to focus more on that being a blessing for them as to you thinking that you deserve that blessing, okay? Now, a lot of people deal with, they have solid battles, okay? So that same person who has just started their business or who just got that promotion might have, you know, you don't know what went on prior to this big elevation. You know what I'm saying? So everybody's journey it's their journey, okay? We can't put ourselves in their shoes because you will never live that person's life, okay? So if we look at their life as if it is, it's pertaining to you, you'll always feel away because they'll always have something you don't, regardless of whatever that is, you'll always have something they don't. So you have to stay in your own lane. That is very cliche, I know, but it is so true. You have to have tunnel vision. You have to. Because it can get very discouraging. It can get very discouraging. Because we are all out here just trying to eat. You know what I'm saying? Your timing is not someone else's timing and their timing is not yours. And we just truly need to figure out a way because like I said, it is coming to feel that way. If you're very ambitious, if there's things that you're trying to accomplish that you want to accomplish and everyone else is accomplishing and prospering and you're just, you just feel stuck of course, that's that's discouraging because it's like you're wanting to do you're you're wanting to put out as well, but it seems like you keep falling ten steps back. But if you stay right there, if you stay right there ten ten steps back, you're gonna stay ten steps back. You know what I'm saying? So figure out a way to 
encourage yourself. You know what I'm saying? Figure out a way to encourage yourself so that you can get out of that funk, out of that slump, and move forward. You can't. You're never going to get better if you're still focused on the back because none of us can walk forward backwards. Okay? So, see, congratulate them for what they're doing. You know, root them on for what they're doing. You know, give them encouraging words for what they're doing. Your time is coming. You know what I'm saying? And I'm, I'm, I'm throwing out a lot of cliches here, but it's so true. And if you guys don't believe me, I'm sure you can look at your own life. Look at the journey that you're on or that you had. And you can see that I might have failed. I failed about three years ago. But look where I am now. You know, we have to be appreciative even of those small things that have, you know, happened in our lives or come into our lives. Because if you can't, if you can't appreciate small, how are you going to appreciate big? you got to appreciate being down. It's, you're getting something out of it. Okay? And don't let that be envious acts. No acts of envious should be something that you want to portray if you want to get better because now you're going to be jealous and that's not jealousy is an ugly trait another cliche i'm just going to my child but for real y'all like i know i'm telling y'all i'm not adding as if i've never been that way that's why i'm saying it it's coming that is coming until you learn to love yourself and and, and respect your own journey and really accept your own journey, that we all have our own journey. Like, why would you, you know, take all of that away from that person who's elevating, who's working hard, who's going hard for themselves, all because you have insecurities? You know what I'm saying? Excuse me. That person has worked hard to get to where they are. This is a blessing. They have favor. You know, all of these different things that this person or these individuals have accomplished that, that's something that they want people to feel good about for them. Because you don't know what everybody's going through. You're going through something, but there's someone else going through something even worse. You know what I'm saying? So find security in knowing that where I am, my current situation is not my final destination. Okay? It's going it's to get better. But if you stop, you will never know where you can go. Okay? You have to go through something to grow through something. Wait, you have to go through something to go to something. Y'all know what I'm saying? It's some, it's one of them kind of phrases, but y'all know exactly what I'm saying. <laughs> but I did want to come on here and encourage you guys because I know, again, that is so common. It's a lot of times where so many people around us are doing so great and we are stuck. You know what I'm saying? We're stuck. And I'm saying we because, like I said, we've all been there. Even if you don't verbalize it, you thought it. At some point in your life. And if you did, that's great. You know, we, we're all growing every day. Even you, if you haven't, you know, gone through that insecurity phase. We're all growing every day. In some shape, form, or fashion. In some aspect of our lives. Keep going, y'all. Keep going. Don't stop. Congratulate that person. Your time is coming. I'm done with this video. I'm done eating y'all. I ate really, really good. Let me show y'all. I did good, y'all. You got five, huh? Leave me alone. Leave me alone. <laughs> but I did good. This does conclude this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope I was able to help someone seriously to move forward, to keep going and keep going hard for yourself. Until next time, you guys, I hope y'all have a good one. Make sure you get this video a thumbs up for me. Please give me some react with me down there in the comment section. I'll see you guys on the next video. Y'all have a good one.